here. Back for another session with the magic box and musings of the week. So let's see what box has and hold for us this week. Oh, it doesn't want to come open. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Just one question. <clears throat> and the question is, what do you think about the concepts of discipline, hard work? Such as for some of us, we get caught on step one and seemingly make no progress, either because of a lack of mental discipline and being able to do the exercises, or maybe it's not putting in enough hard work time. What do you think discipline and hard work looks like in studying Barden's material? And why do some people, even putting in the time, do not seem to get results? When doing something physical, it's obvious the results. It works, it looks good, etc. But perhaps we demand too much of mental exercises. Mainly, I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong after putting in considerable time and not getting results. Okay. Well, <clears throat> the only reason one might have difficulty with the first step especially is because you have misunderstood the exercises. Because the first step exercises are the essence of simplicity. I call my commentary on the first step simple beginnings because that's what they are. It's simple. The exercises themselves are simple. Okay? Keep that in mind. Now, what you do need is a level of commitment. You need to commit yourself to doing the exercises regularly, every day, no matter what. If you don't feel like doing them, tough. You just do them. Like any regimen of exercise, it takes repeated exercises in order to see any results. It takes a commitment to doing your exercises. I mean, if you're going to the gym, you go to the gym once a week and then take several weeks off, go in another time, and you know, you don't get results. But if you have a discipline where you go every day, etc., you begin to see results. It's the same with these exercises. So, Number one is commitment. Commit to doing the work. That's the essence of initiation to medics, is this commitment to do the work. Don't give in to excuses. Just bull yourself through and do it on a regular basis. If you do that, it becomes easier and easier and easier, and they won't have that that feeling of, oh God, I can't do the exercises today, I'm just too tired, or blah, 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 blah. Okay, you got to get past that stage. you got to work through that stage and be consistent in your practice. Okay? Number two, if you run into something that is, seems impossible, then stop and reconsider your understanding of the exercise. Because none of the work in initiation into hermetics is impossible. Some of it is challenging, but it is not impossible. They're all designed for the human being to do. They are all things that we as human beings do naturally every day. The only difference is we're making them conscious and intentional. And we're taking them a little further than we ordinarily do them each day. Step one, for example, we have four basic mental exercises. The first exercise is the essence of simplicity. You simply sit with your eyes closed and watch what's going on in your brain, the, which, you know, everybody is capable of doing. The only difference here 
is you are going to detach from what is going on in your brain. You're not going to get involved. That takes just a little bit of effort. And if you do it over and over again, it then takes no effort at all. It becomes very, very simple. The second exercise is one-pointedness, where you're focusing on one thing and keeping your mind focused on that one thing. Now, we all do that constantly throughout the day. We, have, we all have the ability to focus on one thing. That's the exercise. You focus on one idea. Not an image, not a sound, not a mantra, not music, etc. You focus on one idea and you explore that idea. You think <laughs> about that idea. That's essence of simplicity. The third is just being aware of yourself throughout the day. Being aware of what you're doing and trying to put your full consciousness into what you're doing. You do this constantly throughout the day, but you do it inconsistently and you don't do it intentionally. So here we're going for consistency and intention. Fourth mental exercise is emptiness of mind. Now, this is a natural result of the first three exercises. That first exercise where you're observing the mind, but you're not involved in the mind. That detachment, that's the essence of the emptiness of mind, is detachment. So what you are doing is you're detaching from involvement and in all the stuff that goes on in your brain, okay? These exercises develop your the ability to discern between your consciousness and your brain. Your brain is always talking, always making noise. It's a creature of habit. So you detach, and the part of you that detaches from the brain is your awareness. So, the emptiness of mind, you have completely detached from what's going on in your brain. And because in the second exercise, you have worked on your ability to focus your mind on one thing, here you focus your mind on the emptiness. It's that simple. Most of us have great difficulty starting out with the emptiness of mind, because we're, we're checking, okay, is my mind empty now? Okay, I'm not thinking of anything. Okay, well, you've got to let go of all of that. You have to completely detach from what's going on in the brain, that mind chatter that wandering away with thought. You just completely ignore it, all right? And you focus on the emptiness. It's all that simple. So, if you're having trouble with these exercises, the only reason you're having trouble with these exercises is because you're making it hard for yourself by not fully, completely understanding the exercise at hand. Now, when I started out with this, it was just me alone. I had to figure all this shit out. There was nobody giving me advice. There was nobody saying, okay, I've done this before. This is how you do it. See, this is something that I think initiation demands from every student, is the ability to examine, to analyze, to think about things critically. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? Because this exercise is simple and it's presenting a problem for me. So figure it out. It's not rocket science, it really isn't. You can figure out what is the right way 
to do these exercises. All it takes is a little experimentation. You try it one way. If it doesn't work, you try it another way until you find what works. That's what I did in initiation to hermetics. And if I can do it, you can do it too. There's no reason you can't do this. Just be consistent and keep going at it. Just keep going at it. Don't give up. Uh, yeah, it's really that simple and that easy. Okay, so good luck and go for it. God, just go for it. Okay, so as usual, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below and we'll stick them in the box and get them at one point.